Kurt Vonnegut was my neighbor when I first moved to New York to edit Rolling Stone, and he insisted that the Rolling Stone did not have the, like the balls, more or less, to run his stuff, but then he wouldn't write for it. So what I would do would be I would, go, I would, I would track him, and I would find that he had given a speech. Then I would get that speech, and I would form that into a story, and then I would go over to his house for several hundred drinks, and we would... <laughs> And we would, and I would present it to him, and he would say, "Yeah, that that's that's that will work." And then, so that's how I got him to write for Rolling Stone. Uh, what did you think of him as a person? I thought he was great. He was just so so easy, and and he could act. He he could he could he would put himself into a scene to make you uh, sort of go along with what he wanted. And my favorite story. Indulge me here. I was going to take some Newsweek writers out to dinner after I first got there. They were very suspicious of me. I'd come from Rolling Stone. And I saw him walking up the street on 48th Street, this big sort of lumbering, loose, you know, walk that he had. He's big, good-looking man, bushy. I could just tell by the way he weighed that maybe he had a drink. And I said, come, come with me to, to dinner and show yourself as my friend so that I've edited you. He said, well, sort of. He said, show them, <laughs> show them that I am an editor of, to, to be reckoned with. And he did. And he, we sat, and they just were in awe of him, of course. And he This is like Esquire or something? This was at, this was at Rolling Stone. He said, they're going to ask me what my favorite you know, novel is. And anyway, they were very, very respectful and went around the table. And it was, it was just it was painful for him. Where do you write? Well, I write all the time. I'm writing right now, in fact. And then he, <laughs> then he told a story about how when he had worked briefly at Sports Illustrated, he had a famous story about how he had been assigned a short thing about a horse that had jumped the fence at Aqueduct and run off. And he was supposed to make a funny story about that. And he looked at the typewriter and then left in the typewriter and he had walked, left it behind forever. The horse jumped over the fucking fence. So they, he told that story. <laughs> Ac Pete Axum told this story and he said he didn't want to hear that story or that he'd ever had anything to do with that. And finally he just stood up and he said, well, I think you're all moderately gifted. <laughs> and left. <laughs>